Hey teens, I'm Belle with the Auburn Public Library. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I did once we went into shelter in place was binge watch The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. I am obsessed with the child, or as he's better known, Baby Yoda. So I started searching for books that we could add to the library about based on that series, and there aren't any. Get with the program, Disney. But in that search, I found lots of other Star Wars books for all ages, and I'm here so that I could share some of them with you. And I'm joined by my friend, Baby Yoda, and Ewok. And they're excited, too. So first we have Leia Princess. Our first book is Leia, Princess of Alderaan by Claudia Gray. There is love and heartbreak and droids and bad guys. And this is part of a huge uh, publishing initiative that Disney did to tie in books with all of the Star Wars movies. It's called Journey to Star Wars, and this is a subchapter from... Uh, Journey to the Last Jedi. Who doesn't love a good origin story? If you always wanted to know what made Princess Leia a uh, leader of a rebellion and not just a spoiled intergalactic princess, then this is the book for you. This one is part of the Journey to the Last Jedi chapter. There's also an origin story for Phasma that is currently checked out. Also part of that series from Journey to the Rise of Skywalker is Force Collector by Kevin Shinnick. And this one features an original character named Far, who, he's just part of the family business. He goes to school, helps his parents, likes speeders and droids, but he has blackouts. And sometimes when he touches things, he sees visions of people. And his grandmother's convinced he has the Force, but Jedi's haven't been around in a really long time. Because no one's seen Luke Skywalker in years. Especially because Luke Skywalker... The last known Jedi is presumed dead. No one talks about the Jedi or the Force anymore. But then his grandmother dies, and he doesn't know what to do with these powers, and he decides that he has to know who he is and what he's capable of. And so he goes on a journey that takes him from planet to planet, and he learns a lot about himself and um, what being a Jedi really means. So this is just a rocking good time. We've also got, for fans of you who like Clone Wars, we have a book about Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. This is the story of what happens to her between the Clone Wars and the animated series Rebels, where she shows back up. The Star Wars book, if you're one of those people who likes to know what happens behind the scenes, then this would be a great book for you. I like to read books um, about movies that I watch because I like to know, although there's fleshed out details and find all the little things that I may have missed. And so for you purists out there, we have a collector's edition that features a write-up of A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. And uh, Ewok highly recommends this because it contains 50% more Ewoks than any other Star Wars book we own. It can just really add to the experience. And then finally, we have graphic novels. We have this one, which is called Honor and Duty, and this is about a... Imperial Guard who really looks up to Anakin Skywalker until Anakin Skywalker goes to the dark side of the Force. What, what happens when your mentor goes bad? How do you handle that? So this is a pretty cool adventure based on that premise. We also have a graphic novel about Poe Dameron from the last three Star Wars movies that is currently checked out. We have in our juvenile fiction section Star Wars graphic novels on just about any character you can think of. Also got origami yoga books we've got tons of star wars novels in the adult section we've also got movies of course no matter what your reading level or interest we can find a star wars book for you so um so come in read up pick up one of our uh kits to make your very own baby yoda we will link you to the youtube video you know this is the way and we'll see you hopefully not on the dark side